Thanks. Tragedy on the shores of South Florida. A group of swimmers in distress, and despite rescue efforts, two of them would not survive. Those victims, rabbis from New York. But they played a prominent role in South Florida's Jewish community. Our local 10 news reporter, Carlos Suarez, live now in Aventura with the late details for us tonight. Carlos. Calvin and Lori, the grief is great for the Jewish community here in South Florida as well as New York. The victims' families had hoped to fly the bodies back home after they were taken from Aventura Hospital here to the Emmy's office. Tuesday, the bodies of two rabbis from New York were taken to the medical examiner's office hours after they were pulled from the waters off Hallover Beach. They got three victims. One of them, we did uh, CPR. We start CPR right away. We also dispatched for Miami Dade Fire Rescue, and Miami Dade Fire Rescue took them to nearby. Tuesday, the bodies of two rabbis from New York were taken to the medical examiner's office hours after they were pulled from the waters off Hallover Beach. They got three victims. One of them, we did uh, CPR. We start CPR right away. We also dispatched for Miami Dade Fire Rescue, and Miami Dade Fire Rescue took them to nearby hospital. Police say Rabbi Isaac Rosenberg and Rabbi Haim Parnes were swimming with friends in an unguarded area of the beach when they were caught in a riptide. You're talking about two individuals who did never lift for themselves, only for somebody else. That lifelong dedication was evident outside Aventura Hospital where South Florida's Jewish community gathered to pay their respects. Rosenberg was the president of the Satmar congregation and built a lumber company in Brooklyn from scratch. I have here my bum. Parnes was a diamond dealer in Orange County. Last fall, he was robbed in North Miami after three men followed him leaving a jewelry store. Parnes talked to Local 10 News about the terrifying experience. It's today Thanksgiving. I'm giving a big thank for God. Friends described the men as generous, religious pillars of their communities who left indelible memories back home. A third man was taken to Mount Sinai. He has been identified as Aaron Wurzberger, and we're told that he is still recovering in the hospital. We are live tonight in Aventura. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News. Carlos.